Hey KidZone, Stone here again, and in this week's video, I'm going to show you guys how to draw Spongebob. Um, kind of. <laughs> Just know that I am not an artist. I am not a professional artist. <laughs> at all. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even a good artist. Alright, I'm going to open up Photoshop here in just a second, and I'm going to show you guys how I draw Spongebob. Alright, so here we are in Photoshop, and I'm just running through the colors that I'm going to be using here. Um, got our Spongebob yellow, that greenish looking color is going to be for Spongebob's holes. And we got brown for his pants, blue for his eyes, red for his tie, that grayish white for his shirt, and black for the outlines, and black for his shoes as well. So starting off, Spongebob, uh, his body is kind of wavy because he is a sponge and his pants are square, hence the name Spongebob Square Pants, right? Right? <laughs> and uh, now his tie kind of looks like um, like a figure eight, almost like a rectangle or a, an angular figure eight. And uh, we just draw his little, his little tie and his, um, his collar. And I split that square box in half for the top half is going to be his shirt and the bottom half is going to be his pants. And I draw four belt loops and that's uh, where his, uh, his legs are going to be going in his pants. I'm going to draw his sleeves whoop, kind of like halfway in between his body and his shirt where his shirt starts. I'm gonna draw some legs. I'm just gonna mark off where his socks are gonna go. And for his shoes, there's some sort of wiggly little potato looking things. And now I'm really bad at drawing hands, so I'm just going to uh, draw some circles here. And that's totally fine, that's totally fine. All right, now I'm gonna start drawing his eyeballs. Now his eyeballs are pretty big, and they tend to connect pretty much the, you know, pretty close together. Uh, he has three eyelashes on each eyeball, and uh, ah, there's the small pupils. Now his nose, his nose is quite long. But from that angle, um, I'm going to make it a little shorter. I like to make a big old smile and those round little cheek things. Draw his teeth and uh, like his lip sort of sort of thing going on. And he has about seven or so um, holes in the front. There it is. Uh, just something like that. All right. Um, and that's pretty much how to draw Spongebob. Uh, next step is to color him, so we're gonna grab... Oops. <laughs> uh, we're gonna grab this yellow here. And fill in all of the, uh, the yellow parts, like his arms, his body, and uh, that part of his legs right there. And we're gonna... Oopsies. <laughs> Keep messing up here. Uh, we're gonna take that greenish, tannish yellow and... Um, make those holes that color, and uh, let's color his eyes as well. Get his shirt, it's a little more of that grayish, whitish. Um, there's his pants, and his, oopsies, there his, his tie is red, we got his black shoes, and I'm actually going to add just a little more detail now that um, the main colors are there. I'm going to take this red, and on each of his cheeks he has three little, like, freckles. And on his socks, he's got a red line up on top and a blue line right below that on each sock. And uh, maybe some draw some shoelaces too. There we go. Just to get a little more detail. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's about it. That's how I draw SpongeBob SquarePants. Alright kiddos, that's about all for this week's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave a like if you liked my really bad drawing of Spongebob. And um, leave a comment if you want to see more. 
And don't forget to answer the question that popped up earlier in the video for 20 points for your Kids Own Olympics team. Especially you, green team. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. Thanks again so much for watching, and I will see you next week for another video. Bye, Kids Own.